Are you interested in learning one of my top tips to help you transform your serve? This is one that's been a popular one over the years. My name is Jeff Salzenstein. I'm the founder of Tennis Evolution, former top 100 ATP Pro, USTA high performance coach, absolutely passionate about teaching the serve and helping players at Tennis Evolution go to the next level. So glad you're at this video. We're gonna talk about a concept called Elbow the Enemy. This is a popular video. We're revisiting a video tip that I've done many years ago. We're revisiting it today because so many players are coming to me saying, oh my gosh, your elbow the enemy tip gave me 10 more miles an hour to my serve. I added 15 MPH. I've got rhythm. All I think about is elbow the enemy. Let's talk about it right now. So the problem that I see out there with a lot of serves, this is a common problem, is the low elbow. Okay, even the high elbow where the racket comes up like this and then it drops, but this, this elbow gets tucked into here with a limited shoulder turn. Now this could be a physical challenge. I work with a group called Racket Fit. We help people improve their mechanics of their body, become more efficient, improve stability and mobility. So a lot of players that get into this elbow position here, low elbow, and they can't sh turn their shoulder, it might be a physical limitation. But it also could be a technical challenge. And that's what I wanna go over today. So the problem is the low elbow and no shoulder turn. So this happens because players have an incorrect grip, an incorrect first move, and their stance doesn't really support their swing. And so if you have a forehand grip, you're not gonna be able to elbow the enemy. Elbowing the enemy involves feeling like you're elbowing someone back here. I'm gonna get into it more in a sec. So if you have the wrong grip, how about your stance? If you're lined up like this, you can't turn your shoulders as much, you're gonna get blocked. So it's good to have this staggered stance. I, perform a, I, I prefer a platform stance where you can feel your shoulders turn along your hips here, your hip line. You wanna feel that, that's how you can elbow the enemy. So we got the grip, we got the stance, of course we've got the first move. And essentially what we're trying to do is get to a trophy position where we feel like this elbow, you're elbowing somebody behind you. Okay, a lot of players move with their arms like this. How can you elbow someone behind you if you move like this? How can you turn your shoulders? How can you find the right elbow position? Think of a baseball player or a football player. If you, if you look at Tom Brady, he's gonna be in this position. He's gonna be here. Look at where his elbow is. Palm is down, elbow's here, boom. Okay, I don't, it's an imaginary person. Boom, right there. That's what you wanna feel. You wanna get, picture Roger Federer. You wanna get in those posi that position. It's a strong power position. And what happens is, because of the grip, because of the stance, because players, because players move the arms like this, they can never find that position. You don't see a football player starting here to get ready to throw, okay? He just, he gets to this position and he goes here. So I even suggest that players even get their racket in this position to learn this and toss it and find that elbow the enemy position. Let me demonstrate right now. A couple of serves. Notice how I get this elbow in this position back here. My shoulder turn, my chest face towards the back fence. Okay, I'll do this one in slow motion. Just feels so good when I can get that shoulder, that shoulder to turn, I can elbow that enemy. It's just a very powerful tip. It's a nice visual image for you to improve your serve. If you've got a low elbow, if you're not turning your shoulders, if you've got a high elbow, work on this elbow the enemy tip. It's gonna add 10 to 15 miles per hour to serve. It's gonna give you the disguise. It's gonna help you get to the next level. So excited to bring this lesson to you today can feel my passion. I want you passionate players out there to get on the courts and practice the elbow the enemy drill. Turn on your notifications to get updated on future lessons we have coming out. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Please share the channel and this video with others. This is how we grow as a community and this is how we grow the game. Grassroots, one player at a time, one coach at a time. Let's do this. Okay, three myths of the serve. I want to give you a free gift today. It's learning the three myths so that you don't fall for them. 
I don't want you to make mistakes on your serve anymore. The three serve myths, you can get it by clicking the link in the description below or somewhere in this video. Click that link below and you can pick up the three serve myths that are killing serves all over the world. I don't want you to make these myths mistakes. We'll see you at the next lesson. Thanks for your time today.